I should answer question two now. A uh, student investigated the effect of changing acid concentration on reaction rate. Identical strips of magnesium ribbon were dropped into different concentrations of excess hydrochloric and the time taken for the magnesium to completely react recorded. Graph is shown below. So what we've got is relative rate, um, so 1 over T, and the acid concentration going on the bottom. Use information from the graph to calculate the reaction time in seconds when the concentration of the acid was 1 mole per litre. Okay, so fairly straightforward the first bit. Sorry, just trying to get it so I can read neatly. Okay, so, and I'm not going to be able to get a neat line, so hopefully we'll be able to see it reasonably clearly. Okay, so I'm reading up from the one mole per litre, okay, and then I'm reading across to get the relative rate of one over T, okay. Uh, it's not just a case of reading this off, though, because you've got to convert it into time. So what we have is, um, so at 1 mole per litre, 1 over T is equal to 0 0.022 kind of per second. Okay, we now need to, to shuffle this over. So what I'm looking for is taking, to get my time, so to get time on this one, I'm going to do 1 over 0 0.022, which gives me 45.5 seconds and the mark scheme actually allowed 45 to 46 so a little bit of give right question bi the rate of reaction can also be altered by changing the temperature or using a catalyst graph one shows distribution of kinetic energies of molecules in a gas at 100 degrees c add a second curve to graph one to show the distribution of kinetic energies at 50. okay so what we're looking at here is an average of this graph gives you 100 degrees C. I am looking for another curve that has a peak. Oh, it's just like a dodgy curve, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so you need a curve on here which has a peak that is lower down than this peak. Okay, and as long as you have that, you get the mark. In graph two, the shaded area represents number of molecules with the required activation energy, EA. Draw a line to show how a catalyst affects the activation energy. So here's our activation energy here on its own, um, anywhere. Basically, any line as long as it's down the way from this one here. Okay.